Hello Sagittarius, don't mind the changes with the boards, management called and said they wanted some things changed up, so we had to comply. How are you doing? I'm making me some pizza rolls after this day when I'm getting hungry. Ugh. Sorry about that, that, that was just an explosion of like hunger coming out of me for no reason at all. Sagittarius, this is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, so check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it, because it's just a card game. It won't work if you don't believe in it. Or maybe it will, you never know. You know, let's just find out together. Shall we? We shall. Anyway, how are y'all doing today? This is for September, of course. Well, the title should say that anyway, but still. Let's see what's going on with you. Oh, yeah. If you want a personal reading after this, my email, Instagram, and Facebook are all down below. You can contact me there. They're all in the description box, as well as the pricing for the readings. The first one's free on the house. Everything else comes with the price, of course. Also, I accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Boom. Yeah, the two of pentacles. Everyone's been making decisions. Like, everybody... It is starting to get annoying. <laughs> like, I know, like, September's coming up, but geez. Okay. Uh, you got some choices, some options to take when it comes to taking a situation from the past with another person and using it as a reference point for the future. I'd be like, okay, this scenario happened right here, so maybe we will do something different. Might even be trying to reach out to the person from back in the day. More choices! You want to make that choice. You want to pick one of those swords, damn it. Because it's the obstacle to bring everything together. You think this choice will bring everything together. Huh. Now, Ten of Swords is in your fears and rejections. You're like, mm, I might have betrayed myself just a little bit, you know. Just a little bit. Might have been, like, I think I hurt myself while I was hurting the other person. Kind of thing, is what I'm feeling. You're feeling betrayed by this person. Um, but what will come around, will come around. This is how it starts. This is how it ends. This is what brings everything full circle for this cycle right here. Prince of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone very slow moving with an offer. But their offer has them kind of visualizing uh, one person like walking or some shit or whatever. I'm not sure. It's just like somebody. But they look at that very, very, very deeply. So what is the beginning? Okay. What's the beginning theme? Two cards came up. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Communicating Aquarius. I'll take both of them. Fuck it. It's not going to hurt nothing. There we go. So I guess the theme is getting either an earth sign or somebody who is a um, kind of a provider, stable figure to communicate or reach out or something, right? I don't know how that works. Let's see. You gotta make some choices in order to bring this world together, but it involves feel, uh, dealing with some sort of betrayal or some shit. Um, there's a reference from a past point. Oh lord, someone's using for the future. Quite a few popped out actually. So we got a book already, y'all. When it comes to this reference in the past, there was something that could have been realized, fruitful, if you will, maybe even third party involved. But I don't think so. I think everyone was having a good time. Um, possibly wanting to open the door to some situation. Could be a, with a Gemini. Well, it's got Aries energy because it's got Aries symbol on it, but it's like the Four of Wands usually talks about Gemini too because it usually has the, uh, twins in it. So we will put them in Aries as well. But someone wanted to, like, open a door. Maybe, like, I don't know, get married or some shit. Right? Um, here's a Knight of Swords, though. There was intent and hunger, and he came in looking... Like a fucking, like, I must just launch the sword right into you, no problem. Like, swiftness, if you will, right? Because there was, like, information there. There was knowledge. There was been studying. Uh, there was, like, it, like, everything you needed to know was there. But unfortunately, someone didn't listen to their intuition. 
and like this diviner or sage is king of cups cancer pisces scorpio just kind of like muddle things like use their intuition for the wrong superpowers or turn their superpowers kind of negative for their own gain that's not cool so a choice has to be made from that when dealing with the Prince of Pentacle right here, who, um, he's kind of immature, not too bad, but he's very slow and steady, like, he, he's not in any hurry, but he does want to make an offer, he does dream of somebody, right, we got a Knight of Cups right here, the fuck, um, Spellbind Charisma, very charming person, but I feel like somebody saw through them, once again, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, like, you got water intending to be out here um the six of cups right what someone learned is to run away and make their own wishes come <laughs> true not really um there was some wish fulfillment involved here and that caused like this knight of wands to like change shape shift maybe even to ascend into a higher place of self you know, so maybe you got to a point where, like, you were able to move swiftly to change something after you got a wish. You know, looking back on the person, like, it was kind of like, um, I was like, I don't know, you got what you wished for, some shit like that, and that caused you to, um, move swiftly. But the Knight of Wands is also booty card man, so you probably, like, got with somebody without really, like, thinking of too much about it, too. I mean, that's possible. But it was a wish fulfillment, so you got exactly what you wanted. Is this about the whole, like, the person who didn't want to commit again? Is that what this is? We're talking about this once more. Okay. I guess we're bringing them up. Um, a decision needs to be made because the wheel is moving, y'all. So make your choices. Make your jump starts. Make your figuring outs as you go. Right? Right. That's your want and wish. You want to make a choice that will get the wheel to spin. That is your card, um, Sagittarius. The Wheel of Fortune is a Sagittarian energy. It is also a karma card as well. So you want your good blessings to roll in. You want that abundance. You want to be like, I'm a cheeky bitch, you know? The world right here. That's a karma card too, but that's more like Saturn. You want to bring some things together. It's almost like you want to bring the person from the past and this person who's slow with the message together. Like, combine them like Transformers. No, Megazords. Megazords, like from... Or Voltron, too. Actually, there's quite a few of them. Let's see. The world. You want to bring everything together because everything seems like it's falling apart. Like, the family unit here is, like, not together or, like... There was something missing when it came to chemistry, or like the harmony is just gone. Now we got the Ten of Swords right here, where someone's feeling a little bit betrayed, or somebody, or they maybe they betrayed the other person, right? And that's just like they're feeling tortured by that. That's a fear and rejection. Like someone got hurt, and now someone is completely bothered by it. I'm gonna lay one more card. Which one is it that's uh, bothered? Six of Wands, the person who was betrayed. It's um, reversed, so I'm thinking um, this is the person who failed to protect themselves a little bit. Like, they're the ones who are a little bit tortured by this, bothered. Which makes sense, because usually people who do things wrong to us don't really give a shit until, like, you know, someone tells them, Hey, you're supposed to give a shit when you hurt somebody, you know? One of those things, right? Um, this Prince of Pentacles, he's slow, but he has an offer, and he does have someone there he's visualizing with this whatever box and it's got some like cultivate cultivate prolific it's like um whatever deceptive shit they tried to do is it has them like slowly but surely coming back like they did they like it's like they didn't realize what the fuck they were saying or doing or thinking, or whatever it is. Like, something like that. Well, they didn't understand what they were thinking. Or, they just weren't paying attention to what it was that they were thinking. Like, somebody who talks out loud without, like, really concentrating on what they're doing. Uh, five of Wands as the uh, ending theme. 
turmoil and disorder. That's going to cause this King of Pentacles to start talking. It's just like, oh shit, they're throwing things at me. <laughs> I didn't know they had that good of an aim. Damn. Oh, I wish the fool was out here. <laughs> especially from my uh, shadow escape. That'd be perfect, man. This, especially since she's got like a freaking like javelin somehow because it got ripped on the card. That'd be perfect for this. That'd be funny. That'd be horrible, but that'd be funny. Uh, working on some shit right here. You're getting your uh, webs set up there, Sag. Trying to come out of that burden, like it, the universe has come and like turned everything a little bit like, upside down. But it just it, you're just gonna have to learn to get comfortable with it because it's like releasing some loads off of you, so you aren't as heavy, right? Taking your time with it, really. Uh, and it'll definitely help keep this dude away because he's just going elsewhere. He's too focused on getting lost in the torrent. He, I think he's expecting you to stay like that a little bit, too. And I think he's, like, surprised. Or this is saying you need to be selfish for a little while. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't take it too far because you guys can be a little bit too much. Like, you are the adventurer. Like, you know, you have a life purpose of like you know sometimes being excommunicated from a group but that's usually how you guys become such great adventurers either that or you guys like lose your mind because you get bored with everybody and then like just leave because it's like i can't do this anymore like uh nine of pentacles okay yeah and the five of cups someone had to sell their piano in order to pay the bills and they're sad about it that kind of vibration that that's a weird analogy but just Listen, right? It's like this person had like so much. They bought that piano because it was a passion of theirs. Because this Nine of Pentacles in this um, deck is like the arts. What feeds your soul and shit, right? And this person kind of had to like get rid of some shit. And now they're just sitting by a lake holding like their only cup right here. With a fish in the bowl. Just looking at it like you're the only thing I have left. And they're sad about that, right? Mmm! Not really creating much of anything or manifesting anything, or it's like you, something backfired and you weren't expecting it. Could be a dirty, dirty magician, trash panda guy, but probably not. I feel like this is more like you're looking at what you've done, possibly. Or maybe you're, with this you kind of realize that, um, maybe you're being a little selfish, but you didn't know that you were doing it to yourself. Or this person is anyway. Now there is Empress energy. And it's like she's sending stuff and singing the colors of the wind from Pocahontas. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Yeah, you know, just throwing leaves and shit in the air. And it's actually doing something, so. She is creating something right here. Which is her world. And she's holding it close to her. Like, I will make this beautiful. I promise right in order to get out of that five of wands energy or everyone just hits each other in the heads because it's all foxes and you have no idea what the hell's going on one of the two um but that's what i got for you sagittarius if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it but no pressure of course Love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.